Hi you guys and welcome back to Dip Nails and Wig Tales. Today we have a marvelous mani. Um, I mixed up this beautiful mauve color using Rebel Nail Slide and Gold Digger. And I probably used about one part of slide. You see that? And maybe six parts Gold Digger. I wish I had wrote it down, but I did make a lot, so I have a good bit. I just mixed it, and then when I thought I had the right color, I would just swatch it until I got the perfect mauve because I've turned into my mother. <laughs> and then I used um, my first time using confetti of two ounces of it, also by Rebel Nail. It's this beautiful, looks like confetti in it, color. It's way prettier in person. I also um, used um, my stamping plate that I got from Maniology. That's the number. I'll show you what it looks like real fast. If you're a crazy cat lady like me, you're gonna love this stamping plate. This is what I used, but there are so many cute ones. I've already wanted to change it and do a different one. I used Maniology uh, stamping polish, the color Viper. I don't know if you can see that. It's a uh, B319. Um, it just so happened to match the mauve, so it was like a perfect fit. But I hope you enjoy this Manny. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoy the video. First, you're gonna push back your cuticles. You wanna do this softly. You don't wanna be rough. Um, you can also use the orange wood stick cuticle pusher if you're sensitive. And then I like to take my e-file with my cuticle bit and buff around the invisible cuticle area part and the skin. And I just like to buff all the little bit of dead skin off. This is gentle, it's not gonna cut you or hurt you. And if you have really sensitive cuticles, then this is probably a good option for you. I use it on my daughter very lightly and it doesn't bother her cuticles any. If you do use a e-file, just be really gentle. I have mine on a very low speed, you don't wanna cause any friction or a ring of fire on the nails. This nail broke back a few weeks ago, so I've been adding a stiletto um, deep C-curve tip onto it, and it gives it a really nice C-curve. And usually this nail is very flat, so I think I'll continue to do this. But what I do is I take my um, sanding band and I sand the top of the tip underneath all around it. And what that does is it makes it thin and more pliable and then it sticks down on my nail and I don't get that gap at the end. And I just use my triple vitamin base to glue it on. And then I just make sure I cut it at the size that I need. I'm notorious for cutting them too short and then file it. This is now when I will file the rest of my nails. I've already done them, but you just wanna pre-shape them. If you do pre-shape before you dip, I like to do that. And then I also do a little shaping after I dip. I'm just blending my tip in with my natural nail. You wanna make sure there's a smooth transition there so you don't have a hump when you um, do your first dip of um, color, which you'll be able to buff out. And now is the time you would dehydrate your nail and prime it if you need to. You can also use your 50-50 mix of alcohol and acetone. Now I'm just going over my colors. I'm gonna use the custom Marvelous mix on my thumb pointer and pinky. I'm gonna use Gold Digger on my uh, middle finger and confetti on my um, ring finger. And I've got my brush out, uh, my clears out, one for glitter, one for flats. I got my base and my Silk Protect and I'm all ready. And I'm gonna start with Marvelous first. I've already done my um, other hand and I'm gonna do it on my pointer first, <laughs> then my pinky and then my thumb. I don't know why I did the thumb last. I guess I just had a really blonde moment. But you're gonna go three quarters of the way up on the nail and repeat that on all those nails. Thank you. 
And if you miss any or the base dries like here on my pinky, um, don't worry about it. You'll get it on your next step and it will evenly cover. And just always make sure you brush all that powder off before you go into your next layer. For one, you don't want to contaminate your liquids. Now I'm going to go almost to the cuticle, but not up to it yet. And then just again, a thin, even layer. Make sure you cover it all and then dip it in. And as soon as you take your finger out of the jar, you can run the toothpick around it if you feel like you got any on the skin. Now you're gonna go all the way up to the cuticle, just like a hairline from your skin, and um, do a thin, even layer. And as soon as you get, pull your finger out of the jar, go ahead and run your toothpick around your cuticle area, and it's gonna give you that nice, clean line. And then once you've finished all three of your nails or however many you're doing in a color, you're gonna get your next color out. Now I'm working with Gold Digger and I'm only gonna be using it on my uh, middle finger. And I'm sorry that I leave frames sometimes. I did get a new camera mount so that will get better. And since I'm only doing one finger in Gold Digger, I do wait a little bit in between each layer just to make sure everything's dry. And you can also wipe your brush off Actually, a lot of people suggest this. Wipe your brush off in between each layer to keep from contaminating your liquids. And now that I'm done with all my flat colors, I'm going to clear cap all my fingers um, just to protect the color from buffing. So you just go all the way up to the cuticle with a thin even layer, dip it in the clear, and then you want to clean around your cuticle area with um, your toothpick again and just repeat that on all the nails.
And before I start my accent nail, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Seal Protect or Activator, whatever you call it, just to go ahead and finish these nails out. Before I dip into glitter, I always like to do one full even coat of clear just to protect my nail from the glitter when I'm doing soak off. I feel like it helps. And I just go all the way up to the cuticle, dip in, clean it up real good with my toothpick. I always like to put my glitters or anything like that in a cupcake liner. That way if I spill a bunch of glitter, I can just pour it back in the jar. But I just like to stir it up and then I um, tap it on the counter. And what that does is brings all the glitter to the top before I dip into it. So on my first dip of glitter, I'm going to go all the way almost to the cuticle, but not quite there. And then I like to lay my nail flat and I just look for the glitter pieces that I like and I lay the nail in it. Dust it off real good. If you have any around the cuticle, you want to clean it off right away. But this isn't chunky glitter, so you don't have to press it down or anything. It lays pretty flat. And now I just tapped it again to get some more of those um, holographic uh, confetti glitters to the top. And then just go all the way to the cuticle this time, not touching the skin. And then I'm going to lay my nail down flat again and repeat the process. Now I'm going to um, clear cap my glitter nail. It just helps protect the color from buffing and the glitter pieces from being burned. Um, it also is really important that way you don't have a bumpy nail. A lot of people don't know this step in the beginning, but it is pretty important when you're using any type of glitter to clear cap it. Now I'm going to take my e-file and use my, um, what I call my cuticle bit, but I don't know what it's called. And I'm going to take this diamond bit and this is what, to me, seals my cuticle area and makes it flush on my natural nail to keep it from lifting. And I'm just like on a light medium speed and I just go all the way around it until it smooths the nail. And then I like to also contour parts of the nail with it and go ahead and smooth over it. And then after that, I'm going to buff it. But for some reason, I lost some of my footage on this particular mani, so I'm really sorry. And now I'm just going to stamp my nails with um, my two middle nails with my Maniology cat plate that I am in love with. It's probably the only plate that I need being a crazy cat lady. And again, I use the color Viper. It's the only actual color besides black and white that I have from Maniology and it just was meant to be. The footage isn't very good here because I was out of frame like 90% of the time. So I really apologize for that and somehow the top coat footage got cut off and I don't know what happened. It's like I didn't hit record. And then after I stamp, I just take this little um, nail art brush I had and I dipped it in some acetone and cleaned around my side. Then it cleaned it right up. I didn't use liquid latex or anything. After I stamped, I did my base coat. I cured for 30 seconds and then my top coat and I cured for a minute. It did not smear the stamping polish. Sorry I lost that footage, but here's the finished product. I think it turned out really pretty. I love the color, and thank you for watching.